This video is going to show examples of how to do uh, density problems. These are very similar to the force, mass, and acceleration problems and also to the speed, distance, and time problems because to calculate density uh, it has three variables. You have your, and its density is going to be equal to mass divided by volume. Uh, and just like we did before, you can put the variables in a triangle to figure out which formula to use depending on whether you're looking for either the density, the mass, or the volume. But so given either, given two of these, you should be able to figure out what the third one is. So let's look at some examples. These first two are done for you, so I'll walk you through them. Now, here we have a picture of a regular uh, solid meaning that it's a rectangular solid, okay? And so to get the volume of a rectangular solid, remember that it's the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height, okay? So here we have a length of three centimeters, and we have a width of two centimeters, and a height of four centimeters. So three times two is six, and six times four is 24. So our volume is going to be 24 centimeters cubed because centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed. That's a three. So that's our volume, okay? All right, and it tells us right here that our mass is 12 grams. Okay, so if I set up my formula, density is going to equal mass over volume. Okay, my mass is 12 grams. Don't forget the units. And the volume is 24 uh, centimeters cubed. All right, and you can see that 24 is twice as much as 12. So 12 is one half of 24. So we can reduce this and we'll get uh, 1 over 2, which is one half. And the decimal for one half is 0 0.5 centimeters cubed. Okay, so I could do the math and reduce that. It'd be 1 over 2. All right, and 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 because that's the decimal for 1 half. And you can see here that that would mean our answer was A. Okay, Point, oh, and that should be grams per centimeter cubed, okay, because it's grams up top and centimeters cubed down here. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, remember, if you need to pause the video and go back and watch it and slow it down, feel free to do that. Okay, so this one right here, it's again, it's already set up for us. Remember, if we want to use our triangle, we can use that to get the formula, okay? Because it says, what is the density? Okay, you remember, you cover up the letter that you're looking for, and then if it's one letter over another one, that means division. So I'm looking for density. I cover up the D. My D is going to be equal to M divided by V, okay? So that's my formula, D density equals mass over volume, okay? And this one's already done for you right here, but again, I'm just walking you through it. We can see that our mass, which we measure in grams, is 250 grams, Okay, and when you divide that by the volume, which is here, it says a volume of 100 centimeters cubed. That's 100 centimeters cubed. Okay, 250 divided by 100. All right, and then you do the math. Okay, you can work it out if you like. But you remember that if you need to divide by 100, you simply move the decimal place two spaces to the left. So if the decimal place is uh, after the 5, 1, 2 places to the left, our answer will be 2.5 five grams per centimeter cubed. Again, remember, you could you could have done this, you could have worked this out. You could have said, you know, 250 divided by 100, you know, and done all the math, and you still would have got gotten, you know, uh, 2.5, all right? So if you need to do that, do that, all right? But just realize that when you have one number on top of another one, it means division, okay? Let's do another example here, okay? It says the loaf of bread has a volume of 2,270 centimeters cubed and a mass of 454 grams. What's the density? Okay, we already know from doing our previous examples that our formula is density equals mass divided by volume, okay? And my mass, as it says there, is 454 grams, and that's gonna be divided by 2,270 2, centimeters cubed. Okay, and so we can do the math on this. So we have, anyway, let's do it right over here, okay, on the side. 454 divided by 2,270, okay. We can see that this 2,270 is going to go into this zero times because it's so big, 
all right and so we do that but then we're gonna have to put our trail a couple trailing zeros and then we put our decimal there okay and then 2270 times zero is zero okay so we do the subtraction we get 4540 because we have to bring down our zero right here and once you do you'll see that 2270 will go into this exactly two times it's half of it so it's going to be two and then 2,270 times 2 is 4,540, okay? And so our answer is going to be 0 0.2 grams, 0 0.2 grams per centimeter cubed, okay? Again, I know I did the math kind of fast, but if you need help on the math, just do look at the um, math review video. All right. Here, let's look at this other example. All right, it says that a liter of water has a mass of 1,000 grams. What is the density of water? Okay, so we're looking for density, and we know that that's mass divided by volume. All right, sorry about that. That's the bell, okay? My first period class is getting ready to come in. Um, but first of all, it says here, one, a hint, one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. All right, so that's good information that we need to know because they gave us the information. It says a liter of water. Now, you should remember that one liter of water is equal to 1,000 milliliters, okay? And so we want to put our answers in the, um, in the correct units. And if one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed, that means that 1,000 milliliters is also equal to 1,000 uh, centimeters cubed. So my mass divided by my volume, my mass is going to be 1,000 grams my volume is going to be 1,000 centimeters cubed. And so 1,000 divided by 1,000, my answer is going to be 1 grams per centimeter cubed. Or you could write it as 1 gram per milliliter, which is exactly right because that is the density of water. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cubed. Okay. Now, this one, just real quick, I'm not going to walk through the whole, this whole problem right here. But as this one says, what is the volume? All right, George put 25 milliliters of water into a graduated cylinder. After measuring a solid object, the water level rose to 45 milliliters. What is the volume of the object? Okay, so this is, just, this is the displacement method. Okay, the object that George put into the graduated cylinder made the water level rise, 20 milliliters. So it displaced 20 milliliters of water. So the volume of the object must be the difference between 45 and 25, which is going to be simply 20. So does, the volume of that object is going to be 20 milliliters. All right, if you have any questions, just go back, watch the video again, and watch me review these problems until you get a good handle of it. Um, and remember, and just real quick, using our density triangle, if this has given us a volume and asked us to find the mass, or the or the density or the if it I'm sorry I apologize if this had asked us to find volume we simply cover up the V and we get M over D so the volume would be equal to the mass divided by the density okay so just remember how to use the triangle and answer the question that is specifically being asked